Hello and welcome to ICB English News. I'm Subala Kangabam. Let's see the top stories first. Don't refer to people at stake for petty issue. Instead, let's hold a dialogue, says Chief Minister N. Dibbe. MSU imposes 100-hour blockade on National Highway 37 from September 8, midnight, against assault of its General Secretary. And Chief Minister N. Biren urges people to avail benefits of Chief Minister Gi Hakshil Gitengba. And now the news in detail. Chief Minister N. Biren has appealed to all concerned not to put people of the state at stake for petty issue. Instead, come forward for talks to resolve any issue. He also urged to join hands in bringing significant changes in the state. Chief Minister was speaking at the inauguration of five units of Salai Holdings Private Limited. Chief Minister first inaugurated a spices unit of Salai Agro Products Private Limited at Lamboy Konanko. The unit will produce ginger, turmeric, chili powder products. Chief Minister then inaugurated automated concrete, hollow block and pavers production factory of Salai Construction Private Limited at Moidangpo. Machinery installed in the unit are currently widely used in China and Germany. Later, Chief Minister N. Biren also inaugurated edible oil refinery plant, rice milling plant and mushroom cultivation units of Salai Agro Private Limited at Leiden Kapi. The refinery plant has the capacity to produce 18 metric ton of edible oil while the rice mill can produce 18 metric ton of rice daily. Chief Minister maintained that the ventures started by Salai have enabled to provide employment to many unemployed people. Products of Salai are not less from imported products in terms of quality. Praising Salai in his speech, Chief Minister N. Buren said, empowering private sectors would take the state forward and state government would extend all possible assistance to Salai. <laughs> Even among the problem, Masam and Roy Lerum with the Matan. Maduna Levaki is shoot up. Prasagi, the Miam with a pot of quick deceptor on Gum Seva. Sikatanga quiggy, a quiggy consigns, a quick cons, a quiggana seva. A quick money put the Lena Yam Zazan Narco. Can I get Holocono, Kamana Polocono? I say. Other state government is ready to have it. A quiggy show quit of Winkali. Madam de, you know, cancer Narakange, Nungi Lena Yam Narakange, diabetes Yam Narakanga, Shinari Misha Rubinico. Har Uria Gumakari Gumakari Gumasi, the Pokunis of Hidung Kangitai. Accord to Masi, control to Wungamde. Hanta Uriagi Watu Laina Panga Fanga, Inga Evitum, Kariginoko organic from the Nasergis from the Sangsel Lakanda Kogi health cured to avoid a quid. Sikim need totally organic state way. As an Atubamatam Debudeque research center Maka food items in Se Masi Yogi content Karikari Yogi. Sekmai MLA H. Dingo, Kontojam MLA Dr. S. Ranjan, President of NEIDP Manipur State Unit, the Komang Kongsai, Vice Presidents A. Biren and S. Kunjakeshwar, Chairman and Managing Director of Salai Holdings Private Limited, Narendam Samarjit, and investors from Zeg Republic, among others, attended the inauguration. Chairman and Managing Director N. Samarjit said, Salai has been able to keep good relationship with different states of the country and foreign countries like Nepal, China and Japan, etc. Very recently, Salai has also maintained a link with the forest city of Malaysia. And Samajit also added that the state will remain backward if we are not able to cope up with the changing trend in the world. With this in mind, Salai has been working to produce eco-friendly products and help farmers directly and thus contribute in the development of the society. He also stressed on producing surplus products to make Manipur independent of others. We need the human capital first. Human capital is not Our culture and our tradition cannot be separated from the world entrepreneurs. Only the world entrepreneurs cannot 
create, can I promote the force of workforce and work culture. So our culture and our tradition, we need to promote more and more, and we should go together to develop our industries and our economy to bring a change, a big change in the state of Manipur. All Manipur Students Union has announced for 100-hour blockade on National Highway 37 in Faljuri Road from midnight tomorrow against the failure to book those involved in assaulting General Secretary M. So Soibam Anil by suspected NSCN IM gatherers at Nungba. Addressing a press meet held at MSU head office, President Manjit Sarangtham said, NSCN IM has been carrying out illegal activities such as tax collection, extortion, harassment, etc. in Manipur since long and the government of India was colluding the outfit openly. Manjit maintained that 72-hour deadline was served to the government to book the culprits, but nothing has been achieved despite deploying personnel of 57 Mountain Division and Manipur Police Commando. On the other hand, NSCN IMs claim that the culprits had been arrested, which seems to be diplomacy was very unfortunate. Manjit asked why the arrested culprits have not been handed over to the police and if NSC and IM cadres were involved in the incident, then they should be able to say sorry. NSC and IM has also indulged in harassing leaders of Jiliarong Students Union. Therefore, Manipur government should remove all the designated camps of the outfit located in the hills. MSU President Manjit Sarangtam also aided that government must initiate punitive action against the outfit indulging in illegal activities under the disguise of ceasefire. Communal tension may flare up if the illegal activities of NSE and IM are not contained in time. NSE and IM are the looters and the extortion of the cadres. The ceasefire of the father of the Tuan Tuan bah hingminari bah kanglu fruit singa sih ki marak ta divide and destroy ke itu gumba itni ke line da enesan ayam no sanerak anda kanglu fruit singa sih ki marak ta amag amag nungsi nida na bah who comes lovera high bersih ayam no make sengan bah mak kau kehilangan anda ikoi MSU ki make itu ki hundred hours ikoi Nathan Highway number thirty seven high bah enesan ayam ki kader singa sih manipul lengan na fara kanda cap capa legal action lakuti fog bah Nathan Highway number thirty seven je ikoi block togzare Later, MSU volunteers burnt effigies of Union Home Minister, General Secretary of NSE and IM and Chief Minister in front of DM College Gate. The protesters chanted slogans such as, Go back NSE and IM during the protest. Chief Minister N. Biren appealed to the court holders of Chief Minister Gi Hakshel Gi Tengbang to avail the benefits of the scheme. The Chief Minister was addressing the inaugural event of a health and wellness center at Kuren Tak Kuman in Henglep constituency yesterday. Chairman of Hill Affairs Committee and Henglep MLA T.T. Haukip, Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian, Chairman of Pollution Control Board Radha Kishore were among those present at the event. Speaking further, the Chief Minister intimated that the government has plans to increase 2 lakh rupees medical help provided to cardholders of Hakshel Gitengbang to 5 lakh rupees. Biren also assured that various other health and wellness centers will be opened in the state under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Ayushman Bharat mission. He stated that the government will provide benefits to the cardholders based on socio-economic and cost census. Jadi, aku lagi sedo mengi makha dah aku ni tahu. Jadi, Minister lagi hasil lagi tembang ni nak lang anjir ni dia aku free lain lah ni. Aku hospital dah. Aku lagi head admit tu bukan nak aku lagi kita apa yang aku lagi ada tak ada any things. Aku boleh mana pun aku lagi nak. Aduh, sih ayuh semua darat orang pun Prime Minister lagi lang. Aku lagi dia aku lang mengah dah ni. Aku lagi nak. Adunat. अपने नाम है ये कोई ना है कोई जिलाइन ईशा नारसु ये पूर्व वन नारसु ये गिनती नारसु अस्पताल में इतने डॉक्टर डॉक्टर गर्म दोगुना पैसा लाइन में अंदर पूर्व में देखा भी तो मतलब प्रोटेक्टली स्वप्न होगा 
Representatives of Manipur University Students Union today met the Governor Dr. Natuma Heptila on the prevailing MU crisis. A large number of Musu volunteers who marched towards the Raj Bhavan was stopped by security forces at Kaishampat area. Later, around 10 representatives were allowed to meet the governor. Musu President Dayaman stated that Musu intimated the governor regarding the prevailing chaos in the university, which erupted after normalcy returned following nearly 85 days of shutdown was called off. Governor was also informed about the legitimate demand of the students. President Dayaman added that the governor has assured of extending all possible help in resolving the impasse. A joint team of NAP and Tignopol Police led by NAP SP TH Brinda and additional SP of Tignopol Police KH Robinson arrested six drug smugglers including two police personnel yesterday. The team seized over 8 lakh 46 thousand rupees from them. The two police personnel were identified as Jamadar M. Sanjit Sharma currently attached to Commando Infal East and Hawaldar M. Rosan Singh attached to Commando Infal West. PRO Police Department in a press release stated that a case has been registered against them and investigation is going on. An encounter occurred between 29 Assam Rifles and suspected armed militants this morning at Aibol Jopi in Chandal district. One militant has been reported killed in the encounter. However, no casualty has been reported for Assam Rifles. The 15 km stretch of road between Sumu Market to Itai Barrage has been in a deplorable condition. Daily commuters on the road, including students, are facing utter difficulties due to the condition of the road and has been an accident-prone area. Inhabitants of the area appeal to the local MLA and the government to repair the road at the earliest. <laughs> One week mobile food processing program in rural areas on food processing industries kicked off at the office premises of Peace and Development Coordination Committee, Yumnam Kuno. The program is being organized by Peace and Development Coordinating Committee Yumnam Kuno Infal East, sponsored by Food Processing Industries Division, Directorate of Trade, Commerce and Industry, Manipur. Deputy Director of Food Processing Industries L. Ibohandi, Senior Citizen K. H. Rajan, former President of ICHAM and Rajendra, among others, attended the program. And Rajendra said, Earlier, beneficiaries were unknown of the benefits provided due to the biasness of the government. However, people are now aware of the benefits at present. <laughs> Managing Director of MSPCL N. Sarat has informed in a press release that the 132 KB main bus will be shut down from 8 a.m. till 9 a.m. of September 8. The main purpose of shutting down is to upgrade a 132 by 33 KB substation of Urembam to 400 by 132 by 33 KB substation. Besides, the substation will be again shut down for one hour on September 11 from 3 p.m. The approval was given by PGCIL as agreed in the 147th Operation Coordination Committee meeting of Northeastern Regional Power Committee held on August 10 at Hotel Nandan, Guwahati. During this one-hour shutdown period, 
There will be no power supply in the areas covered by the 132 KB substations at Yurembam, Karong, Yangangpokti and Hundong. Managing Director N. Sarad has appealed to all concerned to kindly bear with the avoidable situation. Rotary Club of Polo City Imphal presented Nation Builder Award to eight teachers of the state in a solemn function held at Classic Grant Chingmerong. The award comprises cash prize, a citation, a memento and shawl. The award was presented to Y. Punipai of Wangkai High School, R. K. Badal of Sagolban Popular Upper Primary School, Archana Oinam of Brahmapur Upper Primary School, and Somen of Mekola Junior High School, Lai Prakpon Ranjita of Sriban High School, Ludia Rongmai of Iroshemba Upper Primary School, Moirang Them Babudon of Kebol High School, and R. K. Joymala of Nomaibung High School. Assistant Governor of Zone 9, Rotarian Thangjam Arun Kumar, President Pradeep Maitram and Secretary Joy B. Hakrujam and members of Rotary Club of Polo City Imphal attended the award distribution ceremony. Assistant Governor Arun Kumar congratulated the teachers for their effective and inspirational teachings. There are many of our friends and in our community, members who still use their thumb or sign many important documents. Let us join hands with Rotary India Literary Mission to combine our efforts to make India a total literate country. The mission and vision can become a reality in all spreads to give our time and efforts to teach one little member in our society. Together, we can make a different and great history. There are ideas, you will be the inspiration for the other teaching community to strive to work harder for making India a total literate country. A team of Tobal Commando and 26 Assam Rifles arrested a cadre of Pripak. The arrested person has been identified as Sinam Ibotomba of Angtha Maninglekai. Co-convener of National Health Mission 2016, R.K. Narendra Singh, cautioned of launching agitation if 20 months performance honorarium is not given out. Speaking to the media persons at the press meet held at Terakurai Jamledak, he further said, altogether 290 persons of four different posts, including specialists, are performing their duties. Appointment notice was issued on November 28, 2016, and agreement was made on contract basis. However, performance based honorariums, including the contract basis agreement, was not paid, and only basic pay is being paid. He questioned why it has not been paid, even though the funds were sanctioned by the ministry. More than seven applications have been submitted to a state mission director in connection with the matter. Following the appraisal to the chief minister, he he has instructed the state mission director to translate it into action, but still in vain. Therefore, various forms of agitation will be launched if the honorarium has not been paid at the earliest. <laughs> Yamna Yang Yang Longa program Satariba Miam Ginumit Hariba Sigi Numit Asidasu Akui issue was said Bukazaduna Honorable Chief Minister Waris Hanazaduna Akui Masi address to Zerhavani Honorable Minister Na Hariba issue was it Sol Toro Haiduna Mark Toroga State Mission Director the application is it Hadazar Kravani Adubo Neglect Toroga State Mission Director Na Akui issue was a Hojuba Karimta Solution Pudana Namzan Rotame Kang by Abakane Wabi Abuare Aduna Kui Kang Mungamora Makata Kodi Akukan as part of continuous process for checking influx of illegal immigrants in Jiribam district, district police Jiribam comprising CDOs and women police conducted verification of passengers boarded in Jiribam bound train. Altogether, 52 persons, including 20 children and 13 women, were found approaching Jiribam from Kasar without any identification proofs and train tickets. However, all passengers have been sent back to their native places on the same train. And before we want to have the top stories once again. Don't put people at stake for petty issues. Instead, let's hold dialogue, says Chief Minister N. Biren. M2 imposes 100-hour blockade on National Highway 37 from September 8, midnight, against assault of its General Secretary.
and Chief Minister N. Biran urges people to avail benefits of Chief Minister Gi Hakshil Gitingpa. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.